I go to Palmer High School. I'm a freshman, and I'm in the IB program. And so I had to do a community and service project for my IB program. I decided to investigate how Colorado Springs has changed over over time. And um, so I went to the Pioneers Museum, and I talked with Matt Mayberry, who is the manager there. And um, he told me about this scrapbook that they had of a lady named Mary Kyle. So I looked through that and um, decided to just analyze how that how times were different then and how they're like different now. Everyone's hometown kind of has a history, but there's so much of it that's like hidden, and you won't find it unless unless you investigate it, I guess, or like research it. Um, so I think it's important for people to kind of know about where they live and know where they come from. I I went over to the archives of the Pioneers Museum and there's this lady there named Laura Fuller and she's like the assistant archivist and so she was like oh yeah I'll bring you Mary Kyle's scrapbook and I thought it would just be like any normal scrapbook but she came out and like my first thought was that's huge because it was it was literally like six inches tall um, and just like the pages were like old and like yellowed with you know like a hundred years of age and um, it starts out in 1894 and goes to 19 oh 1913 yep so almost actually exactly a um, hundred years back I remember looking through her scrapbook and then at one part there was a pressed flower in there from a like spring of 1904 or something and I that moment like kind of struck me you know because I was like holy cow like this flower is like more than 100 years old she got like a lot of valentines you know which are like like um, little artistic, you know, slips of cardboard or whatever with like handwritten poems on them and stuff. And now you would just be like, you know, send like a Facebook message or whatever. <laughs> um, so it's a lot more like personal, I guess. Every every couple of pages, there would be like a little square of paper with like um, a name written on it, and then handwritten on it is the address um, and the the time for like the it, it was like a little invitation like hey do you want to come hang out for a while come to have tea from four to six at mrs mary mayhew's house or whatever so um and so i feel like those those interactions were a lot more valued she lived at 1508 Wood, um, and so we went and visited her her house and then looked it up on the PPLD uh, digital archives, and the house has, like, not changed at all. So that was, like, wild to see where she, where she lived now and, and then where she lived then. having the physical thing is kind of cool because it leaves a, like a legacy you know of like your life like an important time in your life it's definitely different than Twitter or Facebook because um, you you actually like turn the pages and you you see uh, like the cards and you you like smell the smell of the paper and so it's really like personal you know instead of just like scrolling through someone's timeline on Facebook or whatever.